Hello, and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Japanese campaign in Europe Universals 4. So, I was spying on Buryatia to try to increase our siege speed, but then I realized that it takes about 3.3% siege ability to shave off one day of time on your siege ticks, and it takes too long to, to build it up, so it's, it's really kind of not worthwhile, especially since we're already in the process of sieging down this fort. So that, that advisor's being wasted there. I think we're better off um, spying on Ming or Korea. The problem is the Ming the Ming thing, right? Like, how can I... I can't attack Ming. Um, I just can't. I don't think. We've lost a claim. Oh no! We've lost so many claims on Korea that we were going to use, but we couldn't. Because of reasons. Let's mothwall that fleet, and... How are we doing on naval force limit? 34 out of 54, wow. Debt is really bad, so we're not going to want to be building ships for now. Still not enough troops to actually maintain the siege. Uh, that uh, disease outbreak is rather unfortunate. We have 81 war score, though. We just demand all your stuff. Yes, we can. Cool. Excellent. I will take all these things. I will also pay the, th the 30 diplo points and the aggressive expansions. Totally fine. These countries might join a coalition against Japan, but you don't exist. I wish this interface was better. I wish it would tell you, like, like a breakdown. You should be able to click on it and then see the exact amount of aggressive expansion you would have with every country. That'd be really cool. Anyway, give me all your stuff. Sounds great. Um, let's go here. Let's delete this fort, because forts are stupid. Um, it might not have been a bad idea, considering there's very likely to be more rebels um, over here soon. Uh, let's put the secondary leader in charge there, the primary leader in charge here, go after that. And what do we want to do with this land? So our corruption's going up. We are at 33% overextension. First off, um, until we core things, these guys aren't going to be upset. The gold mine, we definitely just want to lower autonomy. Like, hands down, don't care about unrest, have to lower autonomy. We want the gold. So lower autonomy is what it is. Now, before you say, just grant it to a church or something, um, and you'll get 0% autonomy, that doesn't work. For whatever reason, gold is different, and gold is strictly tied to autonomy. So, even if you have the 25% floor from the clergy, you do miss out on gold production. And I think I've talked about this before, so I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that that's true. Um, up here, this autonomy is garbage. Um, I think what we do here is, since it's so garbage, we just raise, we raise it even higher. Uh, that's unfortunate. We need it to, we need it to come down a little bit so that we can then raise it. But, um, this is Tengri. It's wrong religion. I think that this is some land for the clergy to take care of for us. So, yeah, by all means, clergy. It's all you. Clergy. And, uh, this land here. 27% autonomy, I think we also probably grant to the clergy. It's not going to raise their autonomy, but um, the autonomy floor is its going to take forever for it to actually tick down. And in one year, we could revoke it again anyway, so yeah, it's granted to the clergy. That's good. We have finished our exploration mission. What have you discovered for me? Have you discovered the Americas? You've discovered the north part of Alaska! Good job. Good work, sir. Um, explore more. Explore... Explore. Asia, Asia, Asia. China, Asia. Asia, Asia. I guess we just keep on exploring Oceania until more of North America becomes available. This disaster is uh, it's getting a little bit concerning. The actual army that's going to engage is going to be this army. So let's make sure we've got the better leader there. Which means that we don't care about that. A fair, uh, free diplomat again. So, let's fabricate on you. Build a spy network there. We should be... What are we doing? Okay, so we got Korea. Oirat. And Kutai. Oh, right! We were going to attack Kutai. I totally forgot about this guy. By all means, fabricate a claim. So, the first claim now costs 20. By the way, instead of 10. I think we, uh, we fabricate a claim on... And does, does the math still work the same way that it used to? Is that our chances of getting caught... Where does it say? Uh, risk of discovery per month 
since we have 29, we do have a 2.18% chance. So, yeah, I think we want that claim on Jessalton. Which should bring down our chance of getting caught back down to 0% since we're less than 100. Or, sorry, less than 25. Okay, that army is now put down. Um, unrest. Low enough that I think we can lower maintenance for a bit. We'll go all the way down to none. Let's combine the armies into provinces that make sense and just kind of spread them out and stuff. Um, we've got a one stack here and a two stack here. This one stack, does it really need to be down there? Unrest here is zero. Now how come it is that you guys are accepted culture and these guys aren't? Like, the colonist was here. Was it a bug in the previous patch, maybe? Culture? Hold on. What's the religion here? It's Shinto. Yeah, so having our colonists here did make him Shinto. I think there must... Maybe there was a bug. Could have been a bug in the last patch where... Our first colony just stayed animist Filipino instead of becoming, even though we had our guy there. I don't know. I'm, co I'm confused by it. Anyway, we always take this choice because it's, it's the right choice. We're not really too worried about corruption at the moment. Although it'd be nice to be at zero. So let's like root the crap out of it to get it down to zero exactly. So that we can uh, then hopefully have positive events. Positive events for having zero corruption are very nice. The bonus monarch points and stuff that you get, it's pretty cool. We could take military tech 9. Is there any reason to, to take it at this moment? Probably not. We're not at war. We don't expect to be at war. Um, I think we keep our armies where they are. They're a little bit imbalanced, so let's do a shuffle. The states do demand control of provinces. The nobility, surprisingly, even though we didn't core this land, they do demand more territory. You know, you guys are real pricks. You really are. They control 14% and they want even more land. Hmm. B9. Ability. And then we've got the development map mode, which... was under coalition. Maybe it'd be better. Usually I'm doing development when I'm messing with the state, so let's, let's throw development under there. One of these days I'll get it organized. Okay, so we have just a regular coalition map mode and then we've got estates, estates, estates. So we can see our estates and we can see development. So like, crap development. Free development here. This would give them, it would take their percentage of land to 14.7, which is not enough. I, I just hate the fact that, uh, you know what? I'm not going to do it. I mean, they can just start becoming disloyal. It's fine. Whatever. You can demand all the territory you want. There's a pending disaster for crying out loud. I'm not going to give you more land. I'm going to take, take land away from you. Explore. Asia, Asia, Asia. Just explore all the seas for now. New generation of samurai. Gain 10 army tradition. I think we take the admin. Monarch points are a little bit more useful than a tiny, tiny bit of army tradition at the moment. Are we interested in the workshop? I think we're interested primarily in paying off our debt. That would be splendid. Speaking of debt, I should probably consider coring some of that land, shouldn't I? Man, I am losing- I'm losing my mind! Oh my gosh. It's F18. The keyboard shortcuts are so different. Anyway, uh... So, yeah, I think we- I think we do just- we just core the land. Buryatia is a state. 
Is it already one of our states? It is, which is why it's so expensive. We had already turned it into an to a state, so we got to pay the full price up front. Now, because our capital is down here and there's no land connection, that's why we're not allowed to core this province yet. If we moved our capital to the mainland, then we'd be allowed to because it's on the same continent as our capital. But we're not going to move our capital. I think we just keep it in Japan. So, um... Continuously losing claims on Korea. That's a, I'm really unfortunate. But there's nothing I could have done. Like, I can't I can't beat Ming. I just, I can't beat him. So we have to expand around him. We convert all the things. We still owe 1,400 ducats. Missionary is not cheap. We're running two colonies right now, which is not cheap. The interest on our debt is higher than the cost of the maintenance of the colonial estates, so that's unfortunate. Our overall income from trade is pretty crap. Mm, rebels seem to be okay. The disaster. That's the thing that I need to pay the most attention to right now. It's at 98%. So I'm glad that I just checked that. Uh so we've gotta we've gotta just piss them off. We've gotta revoke their land and get them get their influence down. So B9, nobility. And we're gonna take land. Uh something something serious. 4.2% takes their control. We need to get the control down to less than less than 80%. It's going to be two revokes, it looks like. 31% there, and 25% there. These two... Um, might work out well. Let's, let's do these two. Still just barely not enough. Should have checked again. So, um, they want more control of land, but they're not going to get it for a while. So we'll lose loyalty for a bit, but as long as it stays above 40, there's no real problem. So we'll just slowly lose it, and then in like two years when the general, uh, granted generalship thing expires, then we'll give them some new land again. It makes more sense. But there goes that crisis. Can't actually happen. Progress is negative 1% each month. What? What? That's a huge change and a good one. Holy crap. How come it took like, what, three months for this to actually happen? It used to be that the, that the second that the criteria was gone, it just disappeared and it started over at 0%. Now it actually has to tick down. That's that's amazing. That's That's exactly how it should have been from the beginning. I'm so glad to see that it's working that way. I don't remember reading that in the patch notes, but I'm, again, I'm very glad to see that that's how that works. Uh, let's have you and you, Ed, uh, just join up. I feel like if you have navies like this that are mothballed, I should just be able to, say, combine and they all autom automatically mothball, instead of having to unmothball, remothball, and do all that nonsense. Like, if I have a mothballed navy and I want to combine other ships, they should just all be the same thing, just all mothball. Seems fair. Seems fine to me. Okay, so we're expanding. We're happy. Japan strong. Rebels are good. Rebels are fine. We're making a little tiny, tiny bit of money. We have mercs. We have some manpower. I think it's time to get rid of the mercs. Uh, yeah. I think we need to get rid of them. We could hire out our troops as Kondatiari. As an option. Who is at war? Are you at war? You are not at war. The Oirat have rebels. Maybe they would hire. Would you like some Kandak Tiari? Even though I plan on attacking you. Let's come back from Ming. Or, uh, whatever your name is. Because, like, here's the thing. I don't plan on going to war for a little while. So I wouldn't mind lending out some troops. He's got rebels to deal with, so that on its own might mean that he might be willing to buy some Kandak Tiari. Uh, no. Too expensive. No land access to capital. 
What? So because my island is over here? That's so dumb. Seriously? That's silly. I have land access to your capital. I have- I have land access to your capital. Why do you need land access to my capital? How silly is that? So I can't do Kondatiari just because I live on an island? How dumb. I don't like that at all. So, does that mean no one in their right mind, no one will- for, for free even, will never consider Kondatiari for me because of this capital restriction? That's just stupid. I'm just gonna flat out say that that is, uh, idiotic. It's just idiotic. That's stupid. Completely ridiculous. You will explore more ocean. This province... Okay, so we have two colonies, right? This colony is... Notice how both of these colonies are the right religion and the right thing. It's just so weird that the first colony that I had stayed Filipino animist. We're having serious issues because of that. Like, eventually, the Filipino animists are gonna rebel in six years. Ooh, autonomy decrease has expired. That's really good for us. If we do it again, Sort by autonomy. Got 30%. I think uh, Chara was the one that I wanted to raise. We need to wait. Or maybe we just keep on lowering it. I mean, it's working out for us. Lots of them are getting really low, really low, close down to 0%. There we go. So now they're no longer upset about the general. I feel pretty good about the general that we have. So let's go ahead and get them back up to 15% control. So some of this land then that's up here that has high autonomy. Uh, let's do the autonomy map mode. Which I've forgotten my shortcut for. It's uh, apparently tied to supply. RR, okay. So the autonomy map, I mean, it would have been nice. Could have given them that land. Hmm. So part of the problem is there's really no good land to give them. We don't have to deal with it yet. I mean, we could just keep them at 40 just as long as they stay positive. Since they demand territory, their loyalty will also decrease with 0.25 per month for a total change of negative 0.14. Their current monthly change is 0.1. So it's not going down by very much. I think we can we can settle with them. Let's just leave them low for now. I don't want to give them any extra land. So I'm really disappointed then that I can't even do Kondatiari. Like, period. It's just not an option. You have no allies. We could take this land from you. Do we keep on fabricating on you just to maybe try to get? Again, you need 3.3% siege ability to save one tick. It just doesn't seem like it's worth it. I'm not going to do it. I think that our, our diplomat's better off working on something else. Then again, we may want more claims on the Oirat, but you can't fabricate claims while at war, but the war is going to be quick. We could take two provinces. We could take this province and this province, and then just start fabricating on you, which seems like a good idea. Let's do that. We'll build a spy network there, and we'll take two provinces in this war. Our guy needs to go do a mission to explore more ocean. Yeah, I think we attacked the Oirat. So, so nice being able to go back to the ledger and just find the Oirat. <laughs> They've got 9k troops. 
you know, like comparing this game to Solaris, like you just you get so familiar with the mechanics that like I just know I know how to size up my opponent. It's so difficult for me to do in in Stellaris right now. And now I think since we're gonna go to war, now would be a good time to tech up. And uh, we're also at low maintenance, so now's a good time to upgrade our, our unit type. The Asian Arc Brusier is just better. How many pips did we just gain? We went from one of these two, so we have a total of six pips now, up from four pips. Pretty damn good. That's a huge upgrade. And this guy's on tech 7, so we have a huge advantage. The nobility currently is going to lose loyalty, or uh, we could take this, they gain loyalty, or we lose prestige. That's a lot of money. The yearly prestige is nice though, I mean we're, we're rocking the prestige. Do we really care though, like we haven't really had too much of an issue with um, with aggressive expansion just yet. I think we're going to... Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to lose their loyalty. We're going to do this war. They're going to be pissed for a little bit. And we're going to we're going to grant these two provinces to them. We'll raise autonomy, grant it to them. And that will hopefully appease them. So, let's grab our two siege guy. Uh, we will wait at least one month. Preferably a couple, actually. Uh, we recover at 21.7% of maximum morale. You know what? I still really wish that it would show you, instead of just the slider, it should say morale. Morale is currently at 1.33 out of a maximum of 3.88. What percentage is that? Like, I could say 1.33 divided by 3.8 equals 35%, and now I know that it's 35%. But, like, just tell me the percentage, damn it. Just say 35%. Maximum, you know, morale at 35%. Um, and then I could easily see if it recovers at 21.7% each month that it's going to take three months roughly to come back. You know? I mean, I could eyeball it, but don't obfuscate it. Just show me the information. It seems pretty reasonable to me. So, three months then. Do we wait three months? I think so. I think we wait for full morale. You don't need full morale, because you'll do full morale damage whether you have morale at full or not, anyway, but... Um... I'd just rather not risk having our, our troops get routed in the center, and uh, have any issue. So... So yeah, we'll just wait. And then we declare. We're gonna go for Ihiri. Ihiru. There is no fort. There is a fort down here, just one capital fort, so we'll just sweep the lands. Supply limit here is 23. Let's bring over another half stack. We'll put our secondary general in charge of the six stack here. How are we doing on supply? We have room for 10 more troops, wow. We certainly can't afford to make them. I like how it's a male explorer. It's very important that we know that it's a male explorer. The game's very nice to, to let us know this. What do we do with our extra diplomat? Um, well, we were going to also attack down here. Um, there's more land to be claimed. The next claim costs 25. We can claim one, two more. I think we wait till we have three claims on this guy before we attack him. Do we fabricate on Ming? Or Korea, rather? Is there any chance we can attack Korea without Ming? What the hell? Now Ming isn't guaranteeing them? God, for Christ's sake. Apparently, we're going to fabricate claims on Korea again. Okay, well, time for a break. I'll see you again in the next episode. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. We'll see you soon.